The drought that's gripped much of the Midwest brought Kansas leaders together today. Now they're figuring out how the state can survive when the rain we desperately need still hasn't come. Zach Tecklenburg sat in on that meeting today in Topeka. Zach? Mark, the drought means so much more than just a lack of moisture. It's killing profits on the farm and endangering neighborhoods in town. Way too much heat, not even close to enough water. The combination has created volatile possibilities. Basically, don't light an outdoor fire in Kansas now. Just don't do it. Uh, this, is, this is a powder keg situation. Wednesday's fire in Johnson County proves it. Kansas Adjutant General Lee Taffanelli says that's why everyone should be prepared to fight the drought. That uh, individuals have uh, hoses hooked on to uh, external hydrants uh, and try to have 50 to 100 feet of hose uh, hooked on in case something uh, uh, does happen or get close to uh, residences. Outside of town, the state's trying to help farmers and ranchers find water by providing money to dig wells and rehabilitate ponds so they can keep their livestock living. The Department of Agriculture has fielded nearly four and a half million dollars worth of requests, but only has one and a half million at most to help them out. And egg losses are expected to top last year's number of 2.1 billion dollars because this year's drought is more widespread. The drought of 2012 is of historic proportions and demands cooperation among all Kansans to respond, recover, and plan for the future. While no one can control the weather, Brownback says everyone needs to do their part by conserving water and keeping fires from sparking. And as for water conservation, many water districts are currently under voluntary, voluntary restrictions, but with lower reservoir levels and groundwater drying up, Governor Brownback expects more and more restrictions to become mandatory. Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News.